Hello YouTube, this is that guy 781 and I'm making this video because I want to reach a certain crowd and I also want to um, get on my soapbox a little bit. Now, let's face it, there are some products out there that are not as good as the other. Uh, like, uh, there just is. Like, you know, there are certain cars that are always going to be inferior. Well, not always. But there are certain cars that are inferior to others in certain respects. And that goes so on and so forth with uh, technology itself. You know, this microwave may be not as good as this microwave because this one has more features and it's more energy efficient. So, there will always be some things that may have an advantage over the other. This is inevitable. But I think wasting your time trying to have the absolute best, awesome, most expensive thing that no one else has is really a waste of time because you're not going to really get there. So for this video, and this is going to be, it's not a really a response video, but I used to watch a lot of reviews and it was stuff I couldn't afford, honestly. I'm not spending $200 just because it's a fixed blade and I made by X company and I can't afford that. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to do my own thing. Try stuff. If I like it, I'll tell the world. If I don't, I'm just going to tell the world. So, and I'm going to try to keep it within a budget mindset. Most people out there um, can't afford to spend 100 bucks on a knife or 100 bucks on any luxury item. Uh, I'm not to say a knife's a luxury item because, hell, in some scenarios, it's a, it's a necessity. But, with well, that being said, all right, the stuff you see on the table is all from one brand, Gerber. And the reason this stuff's on the table is because I bought one Gerber item, I'm not going to lie, the first Gerber item I bought was pure garbage, but it wasn't any of these items, so everything I'm going to sit show on the table I'm going to recommend to you guys. But um, I bought another Gerber item, which was, uh, which is this, freaking worked awesome. Then I bought another Gerber item, which is this, worked awesome. And then I bought another Gerber item, which is this, which is awesome, I haven't truly tested it yet. So, I can't really say if it's as awesome as these two. But, here we go. We're going to do this uh, video in order of least expensive. Alright, first up, Gerber Firecracker. This one's clearly been used. As you can see, it's got a little bit of chips and dings and everything on it. But, this is a small LED. takes one single AA battery. It's 18 lumens. Yeah, I know 18 lumens isn't all that bright, but I'll tell you the price so you don't have to complain. But 18 lumens. It is a twist cap operation. It is a fairly bright for 18 lumens. Actually, despite the fact that I do actually have two string light stylus pros, if I ever really like something, you'll probably notice I have two of it. But I have a stream, two string light stylus pros, which those are I think I rated at 26 lumens, and the actual middle of this beam is actually brighter than the stream light stylus pro, which takes two uh, AAA batteries. Go figure. And uh, this this light was only uh, five ninety nine from SMKW.com, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And when I've Googled and binged this knife for shopping, I've seen it up to twenty five even thirty bucks for this same light. It was five ninety nine when I bought it, but I believe it's on sale. It's either six ninety nine or seven ninety nine now. But that's a really good buy for a, a EDC not a EDC light that could easily fit in your pocket. So, that's going to be Gerber item number one. Gerber item number two is going to be a knife I haven't tested yet. It is actually the Gerber Profile. It's not loaded. <laughs> and it's pointed in a safe direction. But anyway, this knife was uh, $18 or $19 at Wally World uh, before taxes. And uh, there's been a review on it. There's been a few reviews on it. Uh, some people don't like it. Um, I love mine. Yeah, mine came freaking razor sharp out of the package. It's like hair popping sharp. The handle is rubber um, on both sides. It's a full tang blade. And uh, all I can say, man, is I'm digging it so far. I dig the weight. I dig the balance. It's a four inch blade. Um, it does have the chipping on the back. So it's not going anywhere. It feels really good in hand. And for $18 as opposed to some $50 knives or 100 buck knives, uh, this is a good starter knife, possibly. Uh, heck, it may even be a good professional. Uh, I have a lot of money knife. I don't know. But it works for me. You know, I do freshwater fishing and stuff like that. And 
you know, outdoors a, a little bit, trying to get into the camping thing, but heck, just don't have time. And it comes with the, you know, it comes with a sheath. The sheath ain't nothing special. It does say Gerber on it, which I guess is pretty cool. But other than that, this thing was, uh, I think this thing is a good buy for 18 Well, you can actually get on Amazon.com for like nine, under $19. And that's uh, with Prime Shipping. So, you know, you can avoid the tax and get it for under 19 bucks, I think. So, there we go. We got 18 and 6 so it's like, what, $24? Alright. Um, I also have the uh, Gerber suspension, which I've previously reviewed this, so I, I highly recommend this multi-tool. It's a medium size multi-tool, I suppose. And I'm going to tell you something. Um, I ain't buying no Leatherman. I'll tell you that right now. It costs you that much. It was, like, it was like a Leatherman kick. It's like normally like 25 bucks. It only has like 12 tools on it. And this is 25 bucks. And I don't even remember how many tools this thing has on it. But it has a lot of tools. And they also lock, unlike the kick. Right, see that saw? It's deployed. And it's locked. And if you're really good, which I'm not sure if I'm really good, but I can close it one handed. Now it's a saw, that's the knife. So it almost comes out in a defensive way if you have to use a multi tool for defense, which I guess it is an option, but not what I recommend. The pliers are also spring loaded. And that uh, comes with its own sheath, which is really nothing special, so it's a grubber on it. But uh, for like 25 bucks, yeah, like 25 bucks on Amazon.com with shipping. We'll say this is like 23 bucks or 24 bucks because I think I said that was like 19. But um, 50 bucks, and you're kind of, kind of some nice little Christmas gift set if you ask me. I wish I got this for Christmas. I had to buy it myself. Oh, my wife didn't buy me a gun this year. And uh, some really expensive stuff. So I guess I'm okay. I'm not going to complain. She's got me um Call of Duty game. And she got me some Nike shocks, which were like 120 something dollars. I have to run a lot. Um, so that's why I have the special shoes. But anyway. So there you go. Nice little trio. You got your fixed blade knife, your multi-tool, and your little flashlight. You are damn near set to do the whole survivor man thing. But, uh, <laughs> that was a joke. Don't do that. Unless you're a professional. But seriously though, 50 bucks? Alright, there's some people that spend 100 bucks and only just get the knife. Because they just want to have that name brand. My opinion, don't get sucked into that uh, that black hole there of uh, foolish foolishness. I'm not saying that the hundred dollar knife is a higher quality, but you could say, well, you know, I got a knife, my multi tool, my flashlight, with the other fifty dollars I bought ammo. So I'd rather say that than you know, I went you know I went online and all I got was a stinking knife and a hundred dollars taken out of my account. So, this is that guy 781 signing out. I hate to sound kind of somber. I'm a little tired. got off work. A little stressed out. But I figured I'd share this with you guys because the people need to know that you don't have to have a certain brand um, to do what you need to do. I've used this multi-tool, probably not this one, maybe my other one, on cars. I've used it to uh, take off door panels and replace uh, pit. I put the, the freaking window back on track. I've used it to take out a stereo, replace that. I've used it um, in installing a bat some battery terminals. Um, I've used this light during almost all those tasks because it's a flashlight and it's small and it takes cheap batteries. I don't want to use my CR123A power things. And then we have the knife, which I have yet to use. So I, I plan on taking that out next time I go fishing in, in the back country. And uh, maybe I'll make a video of me fishing, see if I can actually catch something. I feel like I haven't caught a fish in years. But anyway, this is that guy 781 signing out. Thank you guys for watching. As normal, be safe and please subscribe for more videos.